your peers think you're the best player in baseball. Your thoughts? Like I said before, I try to go out there and, and play 100%. No matter if you go 0 for 4 or you get 4 hits that day, you win, you lose. You got to play 100% every day. I'm Darwin Zook with the MLB.com FastCast. Wednesday night was the 25th annual edition of the Players' Choice Awards, which are voted on by the peers of MLB's best. Jose Altuve took home three awards, including Player of the Year, American League Outstanding Player, and Majestic Athletic Always Game Award. Second baseman Daniel Murphy was honored as the National League Outstanding Player. AL Outstanding Pitcher went to Rick Porcello, and Kyle Hendricks took the award for the NL. Outstanding Rookie was won by Michael Fulmer in the AL and Corey Seager in the NL. The AL Comeback Player Award went to Mark Trumbo, and the NL Award went to the late Jose Fernandez. Curtis Granderson won the Marvin Miller Man of the Year Award, which honors his on-field performance as well as his contributions to the community. You know, to get a chance to be mentioned with somebody that's helped put us in a position to be able to go out there and play this great game of baseball, bargaining for players' rights for us to just go out there and have fun. This is our 50th year of the Players Association, 25th year of the awards, and to get a chance to receive this, it's an honor and privilege. After coming agonizingly close to reaching the AL Championship Series in 2015, a slow start doomed the Houston Astros this past season as they failed to reach the playoffs. But with money to spend and a talent-rich farm system, General Manager Jeff Luno believes he possesses the assets to make a significant upgrade and put the Strohs in position to return to the postseason. We've always said we're ready to make an investment when the time is right, and we've been increasing our payroll every year, and I think it'll increase this year. And uh, we need to be smart about what we do. We don't want to mortgage the future to try and put it all in for this year, but we do feel like we have a chance to win, so we're going we're gonna to make the investment that we need to. Perhaps the Astros' biggest offensive need comes at first base, where free agent slugger Edwin Encarnacion lurks in free agency. His 193 home runs since the 2012 season ranks second in the majors, behind only Baltimore's Chris Davis. But the Blue Jays haven't given up on signing Encarnacion to a new contract and keeping him in the city where he spent his last eight big league seasons. Uh, you know, Edwin's an incredible asset to any team that could get him. So uh, just like on many fronts, we're trying to do what we can to make our team better. So uh, we'll continue to do that. No real updates on that front. But again, he would obviously be a great addition. For more on these stories and complete coverage of the hot stove season, Keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.